and g'day YouTube, how are we all today? It's Matt here and welcome to my next vlog. Now, I hope everyone is doing great. I'm doing great myself. I just want to say thank you to all the new subscribers and all the new people that are joining this channel. Welcome. You guys are amazing and um, it's great to see new people. Now, in this vlog, I just want to talk about a few little things here and there. Now, why do I have a lot of bad mental health issues? Well, part of it is to do with my birth defect that I have and um, that's in the description of my of my um, YouTube page there um, it can be m m uh, physically and mentally draining looking after myself like that sometimes I know I've got to learn to take the bull by the horns and continue on straight with this but you know it's a struggle and um, why it's getting worse is the mental health side of things is not fun. It all started off being teased and bullied at school and um, I don't know why I was teased or bullied and it, it didn't do me any good at all. And I've struggled most of my life and I know there are people out in this world that have done worse off. I understand that. But my struggles are real too. I know I'm repeating myself in this vlog and I have in other vlogs. But I've got to learn to share all my dramas. Learn how to offload everything. And um, yeah. Um... School for me was terrible. Um, you know, I was bullied on a daily basis and um, that really does affect my mental health. Um, my brain has blocked out all of that and it's a coping mechanism for my brain, I know, but it's not good that I've blocked out everything good and bad um it's a bit of a catch-22 and um just trying to focus on what i'm struggling with it's a hard battle and um you know also being in and out of hospital all your life plays a big toll on your mental state and um having a lot of medical trauma doesn't help either and um you know the medical side of things are just hard and for me I haven't coped very well and that's not a good thing because you've got to learn to look after yourself and when it comes to all the medical stuff it's hard too and when you've got a lot of um, a lot of medical problems as well on top of your birth defect it's hard and no wonder I'm struggling sometimes and here in Australia we have funding called the NDIS and I've applied for all of that and I'm hoping that I can get some sort of help for psychology because I desperately need to open up to someone and be able to get the help I need because I'm not opening up enough. I'm bottling up a lot of my emotions too much and one day it's just gonna not... It's just gonna... Something's gonna happen and I don't want that to happen and I realise that I've got a problem and I've got an issue and I'm trying to work on it you know trying to 
um, work on things can be hard. Another thing that I'm struggling is I'm missing out on a lot of work. My mental health has taken control of my mind and when I have the slightest slip, I don't go to work. And that's not good enough. I need to be a man and just try and step out and go to work. But I don't want to face customers. As I, as you all know, most of you don't know, I work in retail. And at the end of this year will be 15 years at the particular store, store I'm in. And, you know, trying to deal with all the mental side of things. You know, I'm hoping that, you know, another thing that's really annoying me is I've been there for 15 years at the end of this year. I never got, never, they never celebrated my five or ten years. And they are celebrating people's five and ten years. I know, because I've seen stuff. And that really plays on me. And I know I shouldn't let it, but it does. And I find it's a bit unfair because I've worked my butt off in that joint and, you know, I've tried. I've tried. Man, I've tried. You know, but all I just have to do is stay quiet, stay in that little corner at work, you know, and just go, yes, sir, no, sir, three bags full, sir, and get my job done, finish the shift and just go home, you know, there's no point in trying to, trying to fight the man, it's, I, the only thing that's going to happen is you're going to make your mental health worse, I don't want that, as my mental health is already at a stage where I can't help myself anymore, and um, <clears throat> I just want to try and get back to where I used to be, you know. I always think about all the medical stuff that's happened in my life and why it's happened to me and what should I do when, you know, I'm sick of being in that position, but I know I was born the way I am. I've got to learn not to think that, but it's natural for being a human being to be worried about life like that and um yeah I just wish I was not I was not the way I was and life was so hard it's still very hard for me and I don't have many friends in my life never have as well um you know and that's hard but the friends I do have I'm glad that I do, but it's still hard that I don't have a lot of people to rely on, and I just want to try and, I just want to try and be able to fight that for myself, and just, you know, move forward, and try and live life the way it was meant to be lived, you know, I know I'm sounding very negative, but it's just what I need to get off my shoulders and I'm being trying so hard to be ready at the end of the day. I know there's always a light at the end of the tunnel and you know I just wish I I just wish I was I could could have done better in my life, but because of all the dramas and struggles I've been through, I don't know, dude. It's just been so hard, and I know life is supposed to move on. I know life was not meant to be easy. I knew life was going to be hard, but this hard, I just don't understand sometimes. You know, you just study what's happening and you can never get the answer you're looking for and that's hard you know you just got to continue focusing on all those positive things in life to try and move forward but you know 
it's hard. And I just wish I was better off, let's just say. Um, you know, I just gotta move on, build my bridge, try and build the bridge and move forward, but that's gonna be so hard. Um, I've been trying to deal with that for 30 year odd years now, and you know, the amount of people that say to me, chin up, come on, move on, be happy, put that smile on. Some days you just don't wanna do it, and that really puts me down. You know, I wanna be happy, but it just doesn't work out. Um, you know, I try, and I try, and I try, but it, I just lose so much energy, uh, it's so mentally draining mental health, and, you know, with the mental health and my medical needs, everything just drains you out, you just want to throw the towel in and just stay in your room and not come out at all. But I know I can't do that. I've got to take the steps, become a man, and just go out into the world. Us Australian people are strong people, and, you know, we are raised tough and we are born tough. But it's we just sometimes just struggle to do it sometimes and um we just gotta move on I guess but how can you move on when you've got these voices in the back of your head putting you down or something you gotta learn to get rid of those voices but they're so hard and I just don't know what to do some days you know I try and keep moving forward keep on trying to just reach out I'm trying to reach out but I just don't know how to reach out um it's been a long life so far and I'm still young and I hope the future holds something a lot more interesting than what it has been so far you know I just want to I just want to try and be happy spread happiness around the world but when you have a lot of problems with trying to move forward it's hard and um, I know I'm making so many excuses but you know you try and do the right thing without excuses and sometimes it just doesn't work out and that really really annoys me to the T and you know I just want to keep trying so hard to keep my positive going and you know but I'll just keep trying the hardest I can and you know I'll keep making videos I'll keep making vlogs mental vlogs my 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 re my birth defect vlogs I'm going to keep making some music. Music is something that really does help people. And it really helps me. You know, when you can focus on music, it takes everything away. And you are just in a happy place. The same for me when I'm making videos and making content. And editing. Everything, when I'm starting to edit videos, everything just slips away and it's peaceful it's weird it is a stressful thing yeah but it's weird that it actually helps you know 
it's because of my mind's on doing something. It doesn't allow me to wander. And it's something that I love doing. I'm not the best editor in the world. And I'm not the best at making content in the world. But I will continue to make what I can do. I am trying to be creative and also trying to have fun. You know, I am going to just keep vlogging and no one's going to stop me. And I want to try and be happy about it. You guys are all amazing and all the comments and support that I do get so far have been great. And you guys will be the best. I'm going to make another video. Um, going to edit this one, make another one, edit that one, upload. It's going to take a few hours for these both, uh, for what I'm going to do, be up on the channel. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to continue making content as much as I can. And you guys, just stay tuned. Look out for my vlogs and my content. You guys are amazing. You guys have a wonderful day or whatever you are. Have a blessed day, guys. And until my next video, bye-bye, guys.